Hey guys, it is February 4th, and I believe the first day that I have recorded this month. Um, let's see, let's update a little. I worked on my Chatelaine until I finished part one, which only took, I think, like the first day or two of February, but I have already put that away, so I won't be tempted, and I will insert pictures of where I am on that here. So that's how far I am. Um, I figure I will probably pick that back up again beginning of March. We'll see. Um, I have pulled out since then something I have not worked on in a while. And I love this piece. I'm ready to get back to it. This is Le Clef, which is French for the key. And this is a Namu design. I'm not taking it out of the plastic. So that's what she's going to look like. See um, the hair clasp in the back, the piece over her ear, and the key in her hand is all solid beading. So, yeah. This is where I am on her and her gorgeous hair. I love her. Um, I plan on working on her for a bit today before I start cleaning my house. I have let it go. You know, like when you're really chill and you don't care and you're getting home from work late and you're like, whatever, if there's cat hair everywhere, whatever, if I haven't dusted in a while, whatever, if there's still stuff piled up in the chair from December. Yeah, it's not okay. And I need to put things back where they go. I need to clean everything. I need to just kind of refresh. So I'm getting that done the rest of today. What I did earlier today was stitch just a wee bit, half my coffee, and then my girlfriend came over and picked me up and we went and ran a couple of errands and saw the new M. Night movie, Split. That's the best movie I've seen in a while. It was so good. Um, <clears throat> I am not a person that is really into the whole trigger warning thing that is a thing now, but for reals with that movie, if you have some childhood issues and trauma, maybe it's not a good movie for you. Um, but it's good. It was really good. I, I will buy that one and own it when it comes out. I was actually watching it and thinking, maybe Jim will want to come back and see this with me. It was good. I really enjoyed it. But I'm a big M. Night fan, so that is what it is. Um, lots of craziness going on. Yesterday was a nightmare. Um, I won't go into all the details, but like nothing so much was happening with my personal life. But a couple of people very close to me had a really bad day yesterday. So I had to be there and be supportive because there were people that were that close to me. So it really, really effing sucks. Um, but today's another day. And you just got to deal with stuff one day at a time. So I'm going to stitch a little. I'm going to clean this nasty house. There will be, if not more video, an update shot of how far I got on the cleft today after this. Oh, yeah, and I totally went out like this. Um, this is yesterday's washed hair. Oh, my gosh, why is that in my hair? Yeah, guys, this, this is how much I apparently don't care today. <laughs> no makeup. Um, just clip my hair back and we went to the movies. That is what it is. So, because um, I knew I was going to clean my house, and I wasn't going to get all pretty and dolled up and come home and clean and have to get clean again, because Jim and I are supposed to go out and have dinner later. All right, I'm done rambling. I'll talk to you guys later. Sunday's really hard at our house, aren't they, Buster? Buster, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. You haven't moved, have you? 
Oh my gosh. Oh. So when Jim came out with treats while ago for Dharma, like usually Buster runs to where he's handing out treats, he made Jim bring it to him on the couch. This is a total, total lazy day here at our house. Oh, well, he got up then. <laughs> Sundays are awesome. It is February 5th, and I am working some more on Le Clef Nemieux, or Le Clef by Nemieux. I love stitching on her hair. There is something really soothing and methodical about it. Plus, because there's so much beads, so many beads on this, I'm stitching this on a 28 count. And this is a lighter colored fabric, so it's kind of easy stitching. Other than how complex some of the color combinations can get in here and the counts and stuff. Like I said, it's pretty easy. So... It's enjoyable. Uh, it is Super Bowl Sunday here, which means Jim and his brother are over at his brother's house watching the game. And I went and got groceries during the game, the very beginning of it, because there's no one at the store then. And I ate like snacky appetizers for dinner watched the people under the stairs for the first time ever somehow, and stitched. So, that's that. I'm about to call it a night, though. Maybe watch more TV in bed or something, but I have early court tomorrow, so not going to be a late night for me. I hope I can get pretty far on this. This is only like day four, I think, stitching on it. So maybe two or three more days. We'll see how much of this I can fill in. I think this is where I'm going to be working in this area. Because all of this and these pieces that you see in here and up here is solid beading. And I just don't feel like doing her face yet. I feel like that that's going to kind of be a treat to see that develop. And there's so much hair. I can get some more of this done. But that's that. See you guys next time. Hey guys, it's February 7th and I'm at my office and I was having some thoughts about Stitch Mania. So I thought as I was working and thinking through this, I would share. I don't know if I'm going to do Stitch Mania this year. And it's not because I don't love it, because I do. But I compiled um, a list of all of my whips earlier this week. And I have like 21 right now. And I like pretty much all of them. That includes like my Heaven and Earth Designs pieces that um, are knocking on being give ups. <laughs> so, but I'm really happy with what I have going on right now. I have a lot of big pieces. Um, and the idea of starting something else just just for the sake of starting something else doesn't it doesn't excite me the way I feel like it should so I'll let you know I'm, I'm toying with that idea and I may do stitch mania but not do stitch mania and uh, I might work on kind of everything in that month we'll see I'm gonna figure out what I want to do I'm toying with that idea. I'll keep you guys updated and let you know, but for now, back to work. Hey guys, it is February 8th. Yes, yes, it's Wednesday. Friday's the 10th, so February 8th. You know those days where you're just like, People have talked so much and my phone has rang so many times today. I just need for it to be completely quiet. And let's, when I hold it like this, the camera's over here. So my bad. You just need it to be completely quiet. 
and you can't get it completely quiet. Like right now the neighbor's dog is outside yapping his head off. So tonight's the last night that I'm going to work on La Clef. So this is where I have gotten on her. Getting her hair filled in. We'll see how much I'm able to get in tonight. I'm filling in this navy bit in here right now. It's a nice soothing piece. I've already got it planned out what I'm going to start tomorrow. Although at the moment I can't remember. So there'll be a clip of this afterwards with how far I got. And tomorrow will be a surprise for both of us. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Alright guys, I'm doing it. I've been putting this off with no motivation for like, for months. This is my pantry. My unashamed showing you guys my pantry. And that it has gotten out of control. Out of control. Yeah, I just picked those up off the floor and put them on the washer because those legit need to be washed. I'm doing this. I'll show you the after. All right, I organized. That's recycling. It's staying there until it goes to the recycling place, which is Jim's job now, so there's that. Organization makes me happy la 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 I can see the top of my dryer Buster's yelling at me because it's almost time for me to feed him that is my like um geez the words elude me that's my extra DMC that Jim organized for me in the boxes that we pulled all of my kids stuff out of so he labeled it, and if I run out uh, from my main box, my full set, I can look and see if I have it in the corresponding box here before I go and buy some more. And I have all of my stuff organized. Yay. This makes me happy. Ta-ta. Yeah, that's a lot of fiber one bars. Don't judge. Hey guys, it is February 21st. I'm being swarmed by Buster, hence me looking down. Yeah, it's the 21st. I think the last time I filmed was like the first week of February. So obviously I'm not uploading halfway through the month, but February is a short month, so it's perfectly okay. This is just how we're going to roll and do this. Um, so let me clean my pantry, which very much need to be done. Um, been doing a few things like that over the weekend Jim and I also installed a new kitchen faucet which really needed to happen um, where to begin actually I made notes there's so much that's going on I made notes the last time you guys saw me I was working my last day on La Clef so I'm going to insert a picture of La Clef here So that's how far I got on that before I wanted to move to something new. Love that piece. Um, really excited to continue flushing out her hair and do her face and get to be her. But honestly, that will probably be 2018 before I even am close to a finish on her at least, if not further out. Because we all talk about whether we're product or process stitchers. I've said it before, I'm a process stitcher. I'm feeling very short, so I'm going to um, stick with my foot here. So, I mean, I love finishes as much as the next person, but I also have a lot of whips and I enjoy all of them. So we'll see when I get back to La Clef. Um, what is next? Oh, Valentine's Day happened. Um, my lying husband um, convinced me that Buster scratching on his scratching pad. Good job, buddy. Good job. Do you need up here? Okay, I'll pick you up. Oh, life's hard. 
Um, my lying husband, that's right, what I was discussing, um, again said, we're not doing Valentine's Day this year. I'm not going to get you anything. You don't get me anything. We'll get each other a card. That'll be that. And I'm cool with that. It's not a big deal to me. But I always feel bad when this happens. And I told him, I'm putting it on my calendar next year, that I don't believe your husband. He lies. Because I end up not getting him anything, and he buys me something. So anyway. Um, let's see. Next. I started working on Mermaid's Folly. I generally tell myself I'm going to work on a piece for seven days and then I'll switch to something else. I worked on Mermaid's Folly from the last time that you saw me. There's just cats everywhere now. Hey, Dharma. From the last time that you guys saw me to last night. I'm going to insert a picture here of where I was last time. Okay, so you can see in that picture, note the cat. What are you doing over there? Trying to get into stuff? This does not bode well. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we'll just do this. Um, you can tell in that last picture that I had, like, finished my second column of pages, and I was ready to start up at the top and do another page. That's what I was going to do. I was going to do one more page. Yeah, hold, please. Here's what it's going to look like when it's done. I got a little carried away. I did an entire other column. Please excuse the wrinkles. This is just going to get folded up and put back in my project bag until I work on it again. I love this piece. And if you need to appreciate how big it's going to be, like it's going to go to the other edge of this fabric. So I have. A lot of work still to do. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, I have way too much room at the top and the bottom. I acknowledge that. But I would rather have way too much fabric than be freaking out about whether or not something's going to fit or not. I've learned that the hard way, as I'm sure many of us have. Um, plus, there was no way this was going to fit on a... Um, anything other than a fat half at minimum, which is what this is, fat half, 36 count. And by the time I cut it to, um, to fit this, anything that I had left over wasn't going to accommodate any bath, <laughs> otherwise known as a big ass project that I prefer to do and that I would want to do on 36 count fabric. I like big pieces and I cannot lie. Yeah, I did that. Um, so that's where I am on Mermaid's Folly. I went to the craft store the other day and bought another handful of DMC 935 because I was running low. I'll probably have to buy another handful or two before I'm done with that project, but that's the glory of doing it in DMC. You know, I think I spent seven bucks on floss, and that was for that and another project. So, yeah. Um, what next? Tonight, if I stitch tonight, because it's like 8.30. I just ate dinner. I haven't been home that long. I worked later tonight. Um... I kind of just want to finish filming this and curl up in bed with a good horror movie. Speaking of which, I think that movie will probably be the remake of Cabin Fever that I haven't seen yet and I recorded on my free HBO weekend. Um, seen a lot of good horror movies lately. Yeah. Don't Breathe. Good movie. The Darkness with Kevin Bacon. 
not a good movie. Yeah, discuss below. Um, so I'm probably, I may not stitch tonight, but if I do, I'm going back to Death by Cross Stitch. And while I have it out before it's on the Q-snap, I am going to remind you guys where I got to on that. So here is my beautiful Death by Cross Stitch. And that's not me being, you know, like vain and uppity about this. I think it's beautiful. I, if you don't, that's cool. Um, but I love it. Wow. Looking at it like this really makes that bird look really dark in comparison with everything else. Doesn't it? It'll balance out before it's done with. That's okay. But there are more than one of those birds across the top. So I'm looking at this in this light. That may mean that the exterior ones go that color and the middle one go a lighter shade to balance that. And that's just how I'm doing this piece, guys. I'm just winging it. Like, I know that all of my exteriors are going to be this DMC 3031, which, close-up view of me, is another one that I bought a handful of at the craft store. So I know I have plenty of it. And everything else, I'm just winging. And I'm really enjoying doing that. Um, I received, let's see if we're ready for this. Yes. Haul. I came home to this today. This is some haul from 123 Stitch. Because I decided in looking further at Death by Cross Stitch that I really wanted a lot of warm, earthy tones in it. And I decided that I re really didn't have enough, um, like brown and orange and yellowish shades of silks that I wanted to use for that. So, of course, I went shopping. Um, first off, I went ahead and ordered the last skeins of DMC that I needed. This, this little handful is all that I needed to complete my full set. So some point this week when Jim and I are sitting here watching television, I'll give him those to put on bobbins for me and stick in there, which he so much loves to do for me. Tonight he's at his brother's playing games though. Um, stitching thread haul in addition to that DMC includes two strands of classic Colorworks avocado which I bought for a completely different piece. Um, my Halloween Fairy by Mirabilia, it comes with classic color works in the kit. And the color that the wings are supposed to be, I really don't like. It's like this mint green. So I decided I wanted it to be green, so I chose this avocado. I'll be honest, this is not at all the way it looks on 123's website. It is much more the color of my avocado. This is a little bit more brown than it shows up on the website, but I still like it. Obviously, I mean, dude, it matches most of my home that you can see behind me. So this will be used for that. So I'll set that aside to put with that project. And then I bought some random silks and one cotton for Death by Cross Stitch. I bought this Simply Shaker autumn leaves. thought that would have some nice variegation for one of the larger motifs. This water lilies was cheaper than normal. So I bought it. This is Fiesta. I just thought that was beautiful. All those colors. I don't know if I'll use this for Death by Cross Stitch or what, but I was in love with it. And since I've started working on my shad line, all about these silks, guys. And then I bought a handful of dinky dye silks in a variety of colors. Um, I'll start on this side and tell you what they are. This one is Outback. It's this one. The next one is Pumpkin Spice. It's this one. The one in the middle is my favorite. That's Hawthorne. It's 
kind of like grays and orange. And then you've got Desert Sands, which is this one, and Cobar. Very, very pretty. We'll add some nice warmth to that piece. And I'm so far early on in the beginning, it's a good place to start adding these in. So some beautiful orangey shades. Very fall. Um, I also... So earlier in this video, I know I told you guys I wasn't sure if I was going to do Stitch Mania. I really didn't think I was. Of course, I've already changed my mind. <laughs> I may change it back and forth again before that time comes. So I've got some threads here, some that I already had and some that I got, actually two of them I got today, trying to decide on a hand-dyed floss to do Nightmare with for Mania. So the, this is what I have. We've got Verdigris, Dragonfly, Green Tea Leaves, and what are you? Otter Creek. They're all really pretty. I just can't decide exactly the look that I want. I'm really leaning towards the verdigris, which is this one. And I'm leaning towards this one because I feel like in reality that helmet would be like, it would have some oxidation on it. I don't know. Give me your thoughts. Which one do you guys like? Um, I also bought two charts. I was having a bad day last week, so I ended up on Etsy and went on one of the sellers that I buy from occasionally who sells like used charts and picked up these two. This one I had never seen before. It's by um, Aerolate or Aerolate. I'm not sure which one. Studio. And you can buy, this is an Etsy seller, you can actually digitally download this. I like having hard copies of things, so I did not mind spending another couple of dollars on this one to have, like, an actual booklet. This is called Bunny Battle. Darn in the background. Um, I bought this because, A, it's called Bunny Battle. And, B, you can see the entire piece here. You can see a couple of close-ups here. Um, that's a bunny with a sword riding a lion. Um, that's a bunny with a crossbow. And I do believe that's a dead bunny that's been killed in the bunny battle. How could I not buy this? How could I not buy this? And how could I not stitch this one day? The colors are very vivid for me but we all know I don't have issues with A, stitching this on a darker fabric and B, changing the colors to darken it up and making it much warmer and you know, darker. Gotta love a piece with a dead bunny on it. I mean, I'm assuming that's a dead bunny. It's gotta be. Is that, and I think maybe he's holding a flower I mean, maybe he's playing dead. I mean, he, but he's bunny, not a possum. Uh, this one, this is now my second Sampler Cove chart. This one, I love like Thai influences. So this is, let's see, um, it says this is my second Thai motif sampler. The motifs from this piece came from my trip to uh, Chiang Mai, Thailand. Um, but anyway, there's a lot of information on the back here, but the name of this one is Siren Jedi. I may be mangling that up. I don't speak Thai, but it's a beautiful piece with all of these gorgeous motifs, just in balance of the birds who are at the bottom. And then, you know, you've got some, some different pieces up at the top. 
Obviously, I don't think that I would stitch this. My foot's asleep. And the colors that it is on here, but I think it's gorgeous. Definitely wouldn't stitch it on black. Um, that is all of my haul. What else do I need to talk about? Oh, I have haul coming. I was on Facebook and um, someone that I'm friends with, <coughs> Letitia, um, it showed up in my feed where she had commented on something and it was where she had commented to buy a needle minder from Jen over at Delicious Threads. And I loved the needle minder so much, I immediately had to go and buy another one out of the set. And then two more needle minders. Because as long as you're ordering, you might as well get two or three. <laughs> I'll show those when they come in. Um, if they're in before the end of the month, which is a week from today, it'll be in this video. Um, if not, it'll be in the next video. So there's that. Um, I'll, I'll add more in a minute on what else Letitia and some other people have, um, talked me into doing. But first, um, I'm taking a day off from work this Friday. I'm taking the day off. So, essentially, because yesterday was President's Day, and I'm taking Friday off. I'm only working three days this week, which is amazing, and I really need, because things are already stressful at work, but they're about to get a whole lot worse because without going into too much detail, um, we're an office of five people, boss, and then four me's. I think the four me's is soon going, it's definitely going to go down to three next week and it might go down to two, which means my workload is about to increase dramatically and might even double. So I'm going to take a little bit of time off now before next week. And if I'm weeping in my next video, you guys will know why. Um, and also some of the weeping in my next video. Um, one of the reasons that the number is going down is one of my coworkers has cancer. And we've known that she has cancer and um, she, she got diagnosed around the same time that Jim was going through all of his issues and she went through chemo and radiation and surgery and, and she beat it and she was free of cancer and now it's back and it's bad. So she's retiring and it's really terrible and I'm not going to go into that because she's amazing. And anyway, blah. Um... So that's happening, that stress of that happening to someone that I really love and hold dear to me, and the added stress that that puts on to the work part of my life, which I hate that I'm even thinking that way, but I mean, it's reality. You've got you've to look at all aspects of things. So yeah, I'm taking, I'm sorry, this is so convoluted and all over the place. I'm taking Friday off because... Hey, stop it. Sometimes Buster's just mean to Dharma, I think, because he can be. And I'm not okay with that. And now he's taking it out on his scratcher because I yelled at him. I'm not going into work at all on Friday. Even though I'm not meeting the people that I'm meeting until after lunch, I am not going in at all. I am going to get up that morning and I'm going to relax and drink some coffee and stitch a little and get ready. And then I'm going to go meet Georgia Stitchers at Joann's. So there's a whole group of us and some of us have met up before. Some of them have met up w without me, but I'm hoping that um, this will be probably the biggest group that's gotten together so far. And not only are we meeting up on Friday, but unless it's changed and no one's told me, um, we're meeting up at Joann's, then um, we're hanging out afterwards. I'm going to come home because I live so close. Some people are going to stay at the hotel 
nearby at that Joann's, close to there. And then the next day, because the Joann's is classes all day, we're going to another floss tuber's house who lives close to me, who I haven't met yet, and she lives like the closest to me of anybody, and that is um, Making Life Count for Dina. I don't know if you guys watch her. So I think we're going to her house and we're going to stitch on Saturday. She says we can stay as long as we want to. So I'm super excited. Um, and hopefully I'll take a little bit of video and that'll be here before this is uploaded. So get excited about video of Georgia Floss Tours um, and Georgia Stitchers in general because there's a lot of ladies who are coming who don't have floss tube channels. Some I've met before who are wonderful stitchers. Um, there's one person coming that I'm excited to meet. Um, I'm not going to tell you who it is because you all know her, but you probably have no idea that she's here now. And then I'm going to get to meet her and hang out with her, so I'm super stoked. Um, let's see. That's happening Friday and Saturday. Oh, yeah. What else I have Letitia to blame for and Olivia to blame for? and Trisha to blame for, and numerous other people who I was like, oh, they're going, oh man, I gotta go. I'm going to the floss tube retreat for North American Stitchers. Paid my registration fee yesterday. I talked to Jim about it and he was like, just pay it, just pay. You're gonna regret it if you don't go. You should go, you're gonna have a blast. So it's in Austin, Texas in October. And I'm so excited. I've never been to Austin, Texas. I've been driven through Texas, but I've never been to Austin. And I'm going to meet all these people who I'm friends with, but I've never met face to face. And stitch an entire weekend with them and hang out and eat and drink and stitch and eat and drink and stitch and eat and drink and stitch and, you know, like you do. So I'm hoping that work will mellow out <laughs> before October, but I don't care. I'm about to ask for that time off now. And we'll just, we'll figure it out. So I'm super excited. And um, I, I don't know what else to say about that. It's, oh, McKenna's coming. Sorry, McKenna, how could I forget you? Um, so many awesome people. I mean, like there's a whole laundry list. Lucretia told me today over at Cretia Crafts that she signed up and registered and she's going. Um, a couple of other people have told me that they're thinking about it. Um, as Trisha said, we had a comment thread going and she was like, this is going to be epic. Yeah, it is. It totally is. It's going to be epic. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of video from that once that actually happens in October. So you guys get ready. I think I'm finally done rambling. 25, almost 26 minutes, just this segment. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, guys. It is February the 28th, the very last day of the month. So I'm going to try to film just a little bit get all of this finished, edited together, and get it uploaded. It really drives me crazy that you guys can see my light in this reflection, but I never have good lighting, and I have to have this on, and it just is what it is. So maybe I can sit right here. Uh, first off, we met up last Friday and Saturday, Georgia Stitchers. Um, that is officially kind of a group thing now. But first off, I'll say we met off at Joann's, <clears throat> met up at Joann's. It was fantastic. Biggest turnout we have had yet. We had so much fun. I know Dina, both Dina North and Dina South, as we call them, because we have two Dinas in the group. And they both have already uploaded videos, which I've got to watch, ladies. I've It's been such a crazy week at work. But hopefully I'm going to do that tonight while I'm um, stitching at home. So many people showed up. It was fantastic. Met lots of wonderful ladies. I had not met either Dina. They're both fantastic. Um, met Karen. Kelly came from the Evergreen Needle because she's in Georgia now. I was super. She was who I had mentioned before. I was super excited to meet her. And 
then I'll steal some pictures from some of the other ladies because I didn't think to take any photos and I will insert those here. We just had a lot of fun. We went out to dinner afterwards. Um, everybody except for um, one girl who had her baby with her and it had been a long day for the baby already, so I do not blame her whatsoever. And the next day we met up at Dina North's and not all of us, but some of us and stitched at her house and Diana was able to come to that. Uh, some of you know her on Instagram as it is Kismet Stitches. I don't think she has a, no, she doesn't have a floss tube, but um, it was wonderful to meet her. It was just, it was a really good time. Those of you who aren't in Georgia, try to figure out a way to meet up with and meet some of your local stitchers. It's just, it's so much fun. But um, Organic Granny, or Lori, started a Facebook group for people to be able to organize Georgia stitching get-togethers. Not retreats, not, you know, and she's not doing it. It's just a place where you are you can only be in the group if you are a local Georgia or close enough to be uh, in attendance at a local Georgia get-together and for those to be planned. It's not for posting cross-stitch pics or anything like that. It's just for us to organize get-togethers. So if you're interested in that, um, let me know and we'll hook you up with a way to um, get a link to that group. Lots of fun. Also, Elizabeth from Dames of the Needle came and stitched with us on Friday. Um, and then after we had hang it, hung out afterwards, she had some of her, her stuff with her. And I was able to buy a piece of her fabric. And she sells on Etsy. I think she has a Facebook group, too. So I bought this gorgeous fat quarter from her. This is Redwood. Is this not so me? Something beautiful is going to get stitched on this. I'm actually thinking about putting um, Angelica on this. What do you think about that, Olivia? I think it should be gorgeous. Fabric's so beautiful it makes me want to lick it. I also told you guys I had ordered some needle minders from Delicious Threads. Those came in yesterday I think so here are those this is the one Leticia made me buy um, this is the one I think where Andrea Reed bought the one I really wanted but I also really like this one <laughs> and I have been looking at this one since she posted it I just something about it I just really liked it but I mean these are all very me so pretty and she has the really nice strong magnets. So there's that. I worked on Death by Cross Stitch at both of the get togethers and um, a couple of evenings since then. So I'll show you how far I've gotten on that. I really don't think, maybe at the end of this, I'll just kind of do a blur of really quick daily progress because I haven't inserted it throughout this video just because I didn't film as often as I usually do. And I don't want you guys to get bored with like, here's a pic from this day, here's a pic from the other day, here's a pic from the day after that. I mean, that can get really old really fast. So after this snippet, I'll just do a really quick bam, 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 so you can see kind of the progress from day to day. And I'll do that because I know some people have told me that they really like that. They like seeing how much happens from one day to the next. But I'm still continuing just to enjoy reaching in and picking a shade and going with it. 
This one is one of my favorites. The name of this thread is Blueberry. I think that is a gassed thread, but don't hold me to that. If anybody wants to know, I can let you know. Uh, this one, I have no idea what it is. Dinky Dyes sent me like a little, like a sample sliver of this color when I had ordered some stuff from their Etsy shop. I mean, I, it was enough to do this and maybe another little motif on this. So yeah, I'm all about it. That's also what this was. This is a sample silk that they sent me. And um, our lovely floss tuber color in cotton, this is actually one of her threads that I got in the monthly giveaway that I won from her, or the, the monthly floss subscription that I won from her. That color is called uh, Jane Eyre Air. I think when I showed it to you guys in the beginning, I was like, I obviously don't really know how to pronounce this. So that's up already on that. Wrapping this up, getting it edited together, and I'll try to get this uploaded for you guys tonight. Um, hope you had a wonderful February, and um, hopefully my life won't get too stressed out, and I'll be able to do two videos in March like I normally do. If you do not see a video from me halfway through March, um, don't stress. It just means that I'm super busy. I'm fine. Um, I'm just got a lot going on. <laughs> A lot going on in my world right now. So um, love you guys. Happy stitching and enjoy the bits after this. Bye.